Welcome everyone. Hi there. So before we start, to welcome to our fashion show. And before I start today, we just had a quick presentation we wanted to do. One of our own members, Alice Johnson, is here today. And we want to take a moment to recognize her. She was presented with the citation last week in a ceremony with the uh, Commissioner of Veterans Affairs and our state representative. She was presented with the citation for her World War II service as a member of the U.S. Cadet Nurse Corps. So Alice is in the front row. We just wanted to say this is a small thank you from us, how proud we are. We thank you for your service, Alice. Here we go for the 2019 fashion show. Welcome to the high-end fashion outlet from Fabar. We will unveil our fall collection of fun and fashion for the changing seasons. On behalf of the Simsbury Senior Center and the Aging and Disability Commission, we would like to thank all of you and our models and volunteers who contribute to making today's fashion show a success. Special thanks for Kathy Marshall, director of the Simsbury Senior Center. A special thank you to Jean Miller, her staff and volunteers at Favar Thrift Shop for providing the clothing and accessories for today. Thank you, Karen Hanville from Simsbury TV. Now, if you haven't been to their shop, please stop in and you'll find a wonderful assortment of men's and women's clothing, shoes, accessories, books, music, houseware, jewelry, and much, much more. They're located at 250 Albany Avenue in Canton on Route 44. Now, if you have some new or used items that you'd like to donate, your tax-deductible donations are welcome and accepted both at the store and of course you can always drop them off here. We also have a special thank you for Detective Lauren Devon and Lieutenant Tom Sheehan. We are honored to have them as they will be the escorts for our models down to the runway. Now. Our first model is Charlotte Barth. Everybody loves Charlotte. She loves to knit and read. She has worked here in town for 29 years in the social service department. She has two sons and two cats. Charlotte will really turn heads with this dress, which is ideal for every season. It's a pleather, leather bodice three-quarter sleeves and a yoke neckline. Now what you have to know about Charlotte is when I'm teaching and the music's good, she flies into the middle of my class and dances away. So we love Charlotte. Our second, our second model is Jean Miles. She's been happily married to Bob for 42 years and has four grown sons and is the grandmother to three grandchildren. She loves to bike and hike and garden. She does Zumba dancing and loves to have parties. Woohoo! She works part-time at McLean's as a physical therapist. She is wearing a sweater dress with black side panels. She said it is very, very convenient to put on right over her head because there are no zippers or buttons. <laughs> She's wearing a black and silver chunky art necklace, a Cole Haan purple and pump set of stilettos, and her Zentangle block bracelet is made by her friend Susan. Thank you, Jeannie. And now we have our fave our model, Barbara. Barbara loves going to tag sales. She likes working at Leon. She has 
out with Meals on Wheels and likes to read mysteries and watch DVDs. She loves to get freebie stuff. And she is really going to wow everybody at the holiday party with her sparkly beige long sleeve shirt and black pants that pull the outfit together. She has an elegant pearl necklace. This is our friend Barbara from Fayette. Now, next is our friend Omar Yalinka and his grandson Eugene. Now, Omar was born in Turkey and has lived in Simsbury for six years. He speaks four languages, German, Japanese, Turkish, and English. Omar teaches chess to children and adults at the Simsbury Public Library. Here's Omar wearing a blue and white checked arrow shirt. A blue and gray striped tie. A casual jacket and cuffed pants. He is going to outsmart Autumn's chill while looking smart. His little friend Eugene enjoys going to the Simsbury Library and playing at the swings. Eugene is also taking horseback riding lessons and his favorite horse is Rosie. And now, dun 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 dun, we have Carol Bale. <laughs> Carol is an active member of the Senior Center and volunteers at, in the Lending Library. She married the handsome runner Don and has been married for 43 years. They've lived in Simsbury for 30. Now, if you'll notice, when Carol walks down the aisle, she has got some little swing. That's because she was a professional dancer and turned with Broadway shows all over the United States. One thing I love about Carol is when I'm teaching an exercise class and lose my beat, I can look at her because she has never lost the beat. She does exercise videos for SCTV and enjoys the theater. She's wearing a light-hearted print floral culotte dress with pockets just so we don't forget summer, or she could wear it on a cruise. She has white woven pumps with red teals. Wonderfully and feminine. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Next is a favor model, our friend Sylvia. Sylvia likes to dance. And from what I understand with her staff, she's got some moves. She likes to work at Leo shredding. She likes to paint and do puzzles. You'll notice she is wearing a flattering knee-length dress with sequins on the side. She has silver beads, which she can make for two or three strands. And you'll notice her very flashy, light pink boa. We are very happy to have Sylvia here as a model. Now, for all those with a romantic heart, you will love to welcome Sharon and David Bear. Sharon and David Bear met here at the Senior Center two years ago and will be celebrating their first wedding anniversary on October 20th. They are wearing their wedding outfits. Sharon's wearing her bridal dress from David's bridal shop. David is wearing a black suit, maroon tie, and shirt. Don't they look fabulous? This, by the way, is not for sale. Oh, oh. Congratulations on your wedding anniversary. Susan Shapiro. Her favorite place is the beach, and with her beautiful tan, you'll no notice that she just got back. 
She sort of retired as a Simsbury school nurse. Her husband is a lion, and she is here because of the persistence of Mona. <laughs> yeah, she really didn't want to be here, and Mona bugged her and bugged her, and so now we are lucky to have Susan Shapiro. You'll notice that she's in a fluffy white bathrobe with glorious pink polka dots. She also has on a white snowflake set of pajama pants and her pig slippers. There's a history to being wearing pig slippers. Her brother used to call her Piggy Piggy Piggy. And so Dana said this little piggy went to market. Thank you, Susan. And now we're going from nighttime in bed to nighttime going out with Cheryl Cook. Cheryl Cook is on the board of selectmen and has been for six years. She's the chairperson for Simsbury 350th Anniversary Committee and the Committee for Care. She serves on the Aging and Disability Commission and on Simsbury Housing Authority Board. She has raised seven Fidelco dogs and three children in her spare time, she gardens and cooks. She's wearing a semblance of sophistication and polish, an Adrian Papel dress of sea foam wavy ruffled pleats. You'll notice she's enjoying a silver fringe shawl. And to complete the undeniably feminine outfit, she has a silver Chico's necklace. And now we welcome our friend Diana Yeasley. She's on the Age and Disabilities Commission. She's the mom of two children. Her older son has autism, and her daughter is also a performer, as is she. They both do theater. Diana is in the Theater Guild, and in Simsbury, she's playing Mrs. Fuzzywig in Christmas Carol to be seen in November, so I hope everyone goes. She is really a beautiful model with bouncing blonde curls. She has an eye-catching tropical floral dress with layered ruffle sleeves. She has a three-chain gold necklace on and high knee black boots. Woohoo! Yeah, Diana! And now we have our good friend, George Mapp. He was a physical ed teacher at St. Mary's for 20 years. He is still handsome and suave. He likes to dance, so he will dance. <laughs> He's been a local realtor for 51 years at the Welcome Mat Realtors. He graduated from Simsbury High School and has been a resident here since 1947, which is most of his life. He belongs to many local organizations and is active in church and town. You'll notice that he is dressed outstandingly for special events and upcoming holiday parties. You'll notice he has gloves, which cost $2. And he has a hat, which cost $4. He has an overcoat, which cost $10. You're looking mighty fine there, George. That gorilla's looking good, too. You'll notice that George is subtly walking the gorilla. His shirt and tie cost $6. His suit coat cost $15. His suspenders cost $1. And his shoes cost $5. Here's George Mapp, our friend, modeling for our fashion show. Yay, George and friend. You never fail to surprise us, George. <laughs> and you're still dancing. I love that. Our next model 
is a Favar model, our friend Alicia. Alicia likes playing on the computer. She likes reading and writing. Alicia likes wearing, watching DVDs, and she loves to dress up. And so that's why she's a perfect model for today. In her long, did your mom, did your mom come? And your grandmother? So let's wave to mom and your grandmother. Yay, Alicia! And over her long gray embroidered dress, she has a long black shawl and a silver heart statement necklace. Thank you. Now, now we have our friend, Harolyn Erickson. Harolyn is a retired certified public accountant, senior center volunteer, and a member of the Simsbury Lions Club. She loves being a grandmother to her four children, the youngest being nine, the oldest being 18. Harolyn has lived in Simsbury for 25 years, and she has a rescue dog and is currently fostering a puppy. Here you'll notice she has a short sleeve black striped dress with daring diac, oh man, that is nice, Harolyn, with daring details of leopard stripes. She's complimenting it with a jacket of refined elegance of black lace with scalloped edges. The jacket just tops it all. It's sophisticated and a little on the wild side with that leopard. <laughs> Thank you, Harolyn. And now we have our friend, Wendy Lamontagne. Wendy loves to travel, and one of her goals was to see all 50 states. She has 41 down and only has nine more to go. She just celebrated her 25th wedding anniversary with her husband, Ed, and they went to Italy last month. She loves to bike and hike and kayak, cross-country ski, and snowshoe. She likes arts and crafts and made her matching earrings and bracelets she has on. You'll notice that she has a black and white slanted stripe and hemline blue swirly border shirt. Heads will really spin and she'll rattle things up. She has black leggings and make her look sleek and sexy and adds a complimentary blue stone necklace. Whoop, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. And now we're very fortunate to have Lauren escort our Favar model, Lenny. Lenny just loves <laughs> Lenny loves hanging out with his nephew, and he really likes reading magazines. Here, tall and handsome Lenny is wearing a black suit with light blue button-up shirt and a paisley mosaic tie. You're looking wonderful, Lenny. Thank you for being a mom. And now, dun, 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 dun. no fashion show would be complete without Edna Schreindorfer. <laughs> Edna is an intonation singer, an active volunteer at the Senior Center, and the newsletter coordinator. She does every single exercise class we have here at the Senior Center. She has lots of grandchildren and loves her friends. <laughs> now you'll notice that Edna has a white satin outfit with pink fringe, a pink cowboy neckerchief, her natural blonde curly hair, <laughs> a white cowboy hat, and so I said to Edna, how are you doing? And she says, I have no boots. She goes, all I can say is, these boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And they walked away. Dolly Parton has nothing on Edna. Yay, 
And next we have our friend Charlotte. Now Charlotte is donning a, oh man, you are gonna create some buzz all dolled up with that lace dress. It's strapless, luxurious, and feminine with a floral, black, form-fitting, sleek lace cocktail dress. And the parasol is hers, which of course we're not surprised. And as she walks, you'll notice the beautiful hemline swirling around her black leggings and fancy ruffled shoes. Wow, we shout And now we have our friend Lalitha Shivarswari. She is wearing a silk sari. This green silk is from South India and she inherited it from her grandmother. She participates with her children in Gilbert and Sullivan Simsbury Light Opera. Now, this weekend, they're going to be in this piss in Middletown, so you want to go see her for that. She is the president of the Hartford Corral, and she is the CEO of Helios, which is an investment firm, local and 100% Connecticut. Thank you, Lalita. And now we have the very beautiful Linda Prout. Linda's a regular volunteer at the Senior Center. She enjoys the exercise classes and she also sings with the Intonations Chorale Group. She loves to travel with her husband Tom and all the family fun that comes with six children and 13 grandchildren. Her latest passion is organizing a group of local knitters and crocheters and they make knitted knockers for women who have had mastectomies and other procedures to the breast. To find out more, you can talk with Linda, but here she is, pretty as a princess, with a soft and flowing long J. Jill burgundy floral skirt, a beautiful top from Old Navy, and a white shrug that instantly, cozy and sleek, completes the ensemble. Thank you, Linda. And now we have Althea Greeny. Now, Althea loves line dancing, and I can honestly tell you, when I can't do it, she teaches. She's also a Tai Chi, loves Tai Chi and painting classes at the Senior Center. She enjoys knitting, crocheting, and quilting. Now here, Althea has a figure flattering Calvin Klein sleeveless shirt dress with pockets. She has a beautiful, geometric, paisley-printed burgundy scarf. She accessorizes it with a Sag Harbor burgundy tweed jacket that will keep her warm during the autumn days. You'll notice she has Lord & Taylor gray and silver shoes with square toes and heels, and is also donning an adoring Vera Wang bag. You are just beautiful, Althea. Thank you, Tom. I really like that dress up there. And now we have Robert Miles. Robert is retired. He's a member of the Lions Club and volunteers at the Senior Center. He enjoys bowling in the Farmington Valley Senior League. He plays tennis once a week and he plays tennis with my brother-in-law. Yeah, Robert. One wonderful thing that Robert does is he works for free at the library from January through April to help seniors on their tax returns. He is a frequent bike rider and loves to do the loop of Latimer Lane to the center to Terrapil and East Weetog Street, which he says is fabulous. Did you get on the saddle? No. <laughs> Here he is wearing a Steckwell Morin try-on, gray pin suit, striped suit for only $9, a complimentary pink shirt, 
accessorized with a paisley tie. You are looking mighty fine there, Robert. Thank you, Lauren. Now, we have our friend, Kristen Formanek, and also, you'll notice that the saddles and the blankets are all from her. She's the Director of Community and Social Services for the Town of Simpson. She enjoys spending time with her two daughters, Lucy and Allison, her horse named Charlie, her dog Willie, and her cats. She likes singing in the church choir, hiking, and reading. She's been practicing social work for 20 years and volunteers at the Northwest Park in Windsor. You'll notice. And now we have... Sylvia has a wonderful and wild pink boa. She looks beautiful in her beautiful black dress, black sequins, and beautiful silver curls. Yay, Sylvia! Last but not least, we are so lucky to have Sharon and David back again. They enjoy road trips, long walks, and seeing the countryside. They plan on traveling to Hawaii next year for their second anniversary. David loves reading and playing cards, while Sharon loves baking and traveling. Sharon is now wearing a two-piece suit and a gold necklace with gold earrings. David is sporting a beige jacket by Nautica, a print tie from the V Foundation collection, and a yellow gold Donna Karen signature shirt. Sharon's suit costs approximately $13, and David's attire costs approximately $21. Congratulations on your anniversary! So we would like to thank everybody, the models, the detective, and the lieutenant. And so the models are going to whirl around. They look wonderful. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs>